Taurine has become one of the most popular longevity supplements out there. Many doctors and scientists are raving about that it's going to have a positive effect on slowing down aging and extending your lifespan. It mostly started after a study from last year that found how taurine supplementation extended the lifespan of mice by up to 25%. If true, then it would be amazing. In this video, I'm going to break down the proposed longevity benefits of taurine, what do the human trials show about taurine supplementation, and whether or not it's worthwhile to take taurine. So make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. Let's start with a study from last year, taurine deficiency as a driver of aging. They found that the median lifespan of taurine treated mice increased by 10 to 12 percent and life expectancy at 28 months increased by about 18 to 25 percent. The taurine treated mice were healthier, leaner, had higher energy expenditure, increased bone density, reduced fat mass and better cognitive function. Although taurine didn't affect the replicative lifespan of unicellular yeast, it did increase lifespan of multicellular worms. And they found that taurine affected the hallmarks of aging such as cell senescence, telomere shortening, genomic stability, mitochondrial function and stem cells. You do see that taurine levels decrease with age in mice, monkeys and humans as well, similar to other metabolites and bodily functions. And taurine deficiency is is associated with many age-related health problems and poor health like diabetes, liver disease, hypertension and obesity. So this is a very interesting study and it does appear that taurine supplementation might extend the lifespan in mice. However, I haven't seen other studies replicate these findings and we would want to see other laboratories and other authors replicating the same results. There are some studies finding that taurine improves health parameters in non-human primates, such as bone density and body weight, but not much else, especially not in humans. So let's take a look at the human clinical trials on taurine supplementation, because that would be a much higher and more relevant quality of evidence. I'll start with the clinical trials about chronic diseases, and then I'll mention if taurine supplementation has benefits on otherwise healthy people as well. A 2020 meta-analysis of 12 randomized controlled trials found that taurine supplementation at a dose of 0.5 to 6 grams a day for 15 days to 6 months was able to significantly lower blood pressure, cholesterol and triglycerides, but it had no effect on fasting blood sugar, LDL cholesterol, body mass index and body weight. However, these patients had liver dysregulation, which includes things like obesity, diabetes, fatty liver, cystic fibrosis, and alcoholism. Another 2024 meta-analysis of 25 randomized controlled trials found that taurine at a dose of 0.5 to 6 grams a day improved metabolic syndrome in terms of reducing blood pressure, triglycerides, as well as fasting blood sugar. A 2022 meta-analysis of five clinical trials showed that taurine supplementation resulted in a statistically significant reduction in fasting blood sugar, hemoglobin A1c, and HOMA IR in diabetic patients. And a 2021 meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials showed how taurine was able to reduce some markers of inflammation such as HSCRP and malondialdehyde but not TNF-alpha or IL-6. So this is quite a large number of human studies and it's pretty high quality of evidence. It is fair to say that taurine supplementation will improve some markers of metabolic health in people who have poor metabolic function. However, most of these studies are done on people who have some sort of a chronic disease and poor metabolic function like diabetes or obesity, so it's not right to say that otherwise healthy people would gain those same benefits or they would gain as much of these benefits. Fortunately, there are also studies showing how taurine supplementation can increase your exercise performance and endurance, which would have a positive effect on your longevity. A 2018 meta-analysis of 10 studies found that a dose of 1 to 6 grams of taurine a day in a single dose for up to two weeks among a range of people was able to increase endurance performance and time to exhaustion. This means that the subjects were able to run for longer before they reached exhaustion. There were no apparent differences between chronic versus acute supplementation. Another 2022 meta-analysis of 15 randomized controlled trials showed that taurine supplementation improved jump performance but had no significant effect on VO2 max or rate of perceived exertion. However, another 2021 review found that out of 19 studies, in 5 of them, taurine supplementation did improve VO2 max and time to exhaustion. In elite swimmers, taurine supplementation of 3 grams per day for 8 weeks didn't affect swimming performance, although it did raise blood taurine levels. And lastly, a 2021 systematic review found that taurine before exercise reduces markers of muscle damage and DNA damage, as well as decreased lactate levels. So there does appear to be some benefits of taurine supplementation on endurance performance specifically. Specifically. Taurine doesn't appear to increase your VO2 max in a significant way, but it does increase your time to exhaustion and also reduces markers of muscle damage. In elite athletes, the effects might be insignificant, but in more recreational fitness enthusiasts, the effects are probably greater. Overall, there is high quality evidence that taurine supplementation can improve metabolic health in people who have poor metabolic function. 
and it might also increase exercise performance. So let's talk about the dosages. It is important to know the exact dose because a lot of the supplements might have a threshold below which you don't see an effect. In the human clinical trials, a dose of 0.5 to 6 grams per day is effective for improving metabolic health markers. And in the exercise studies, a dose of 1 to 6 grams is typically used. In the 2023 mouse life extension study, they used 1000 milligrams per kilogram on the mice, which after adjusting for humans would be the equivalent of 6 grams per day. They did find some benefits with 50% of that, so 3 grams was already effective, but the higher 6 gram equivalent dose was apparently better for the mice. This is a much larger dose than many people recommend. Most people recommend taking like 1 to 2 grams of taurine, but the effective threshold appears to be at least 3 grams and up to 6 grams based on the mouse study. But again, we don't know if that same mouse study in terms of life extension would translate over into humans. So if you are taking taurine in hopes that it's going to extend your lifespan, then you would need to take at least 3 to 6 grams. Most taurine supplements contain about 500 to 1000 milligrams of taurine. So to reach the 6 gram dose, you need to consume quite a lot of capsules. Fortunately, there are also some foods that contain taurine so you could theoretically reach the three grams of taurine dose with your dietary choices already so then you don't need to take like 12 capsules a day maybe one to two is enough Here's a list of the highest taurine containing foods. Tuna, 960 milligrams per 100 grams. Scallops, 820 milligrams per 100 grams. Clams, 520 milligrams per 100 grams. Nori, 1300 milligrams per 100 grams, which is the highest source. Mussels, 655 milligrams per 100 grams. Interestingly, the Japanese people consume a lot of taurine-rich foods, primarily seafood, fish, and sea vegetables like nori and kelp. This 2009 epidemiological study hypothesized that the taurine in Japanese cuisine might explain some of the health and the long life expectancy of the Japanese people. Based on the mouse study, you'd need at least 3 to 6 grams of taurine per day, and the Japanese would easily get 6 grams per day because they eat a lot of fish and seaweed. Other taurine containing foods are much lower in taurine than seafood, such as turkey, 300 milligrams per 100 grams, chicken, 170 milligrams per 100 grams, and beef, 60 milligrams per 100 grams. If you eat 200 grams of tuna or scallops and 100 grams of seaweeds, you're already getting the 3 grams of taurine dose. But if you were to eat only only turkey or beef, then you would need to eat over one kilogram of turkey or five kilograms of beef. That's just not very realistic. And by doing that, you'd also get too many calories, which kind of defeats the purpose. So if you want to get the three grams of taurine from dietary sources, then you would want to add some of the seafoods into your diet, such as tuna, scallops, mussels, clams, and seaweeds. These foods are also high in iodine and other healthy nutrients. Then if you want to get the six grams per day, you might want to add one to two grams of taurine as a supplement. However, there's still no evidence that getting 6 grams of taurine would extend your lifespan. The Japanese are probably getting around 3 to 6 grams of taurine per day, but most of it, virtually all of it, comes from their diet. I'm personally not taking taurine supplements at the moment because I'm getting a lot of the taurine from my dietary sources, and there's no evidence that I would actually need to bump it up to like 6 grams or more per day. I'm getting at least 3 grams of taurine pretty much every day because I eat a lot of fish and other seafoods. However, taurine is definitely one of those supplements I am excited about, and I'm eagerly waiting for future studies on its effects on longevity and life extension. I also don't have any poor metabolic health, so there's theoretically no reason for me to take taurine, and my exercise performance is already pretty high, mostly because of I'm getting like 3 grams of taurine from my diet. If you want to know about the supplements I'm taking, then check out my new updated supplement list, link in the description. Other than that, thanks for watching this video, make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem, stay optimized, stay empowered.